Welcome to 11 Mind-Blowing Ideas About Consciousness. 1. Panpsychism Panpsychism is a philosophical theory that posits consciousness as a fundamental and ubiquitous feature of the universe. This idea suggests that all matter, from atoms to stars and planets, possesses some form of consciousness or proto-consciousness. Panpsychism challenges the conventional view that consciousness is limited to certain living organisms, like humans and some animals. Instead, it proposes that conscious experiences are an intrinsic aspect of reality, interwoven into the fabric of the cosmos. While this concept remains highly speculative, it offers an intriguing perspective on the nature of consciousness and its relationship with the physical world. 2. Collective Consciousness Collective consciousness refers to the notion that societies and groups develop shared beliefs, values, and attitudes, forming a unified consciousness that transcends individual minds. This idea suggests that the collective consciousness of a group can shape social norms, influence behavior, and impact decision-making processes. The concept has roots in the work of sociologist Emile Durkheim, who argued that societies are bound together by a shared sense of morality and collective identity. While difficult to measure or quantify, collective consciousness has been explored in various contexts, from the emergence of social movements to the role of shared narratives in shaping cultural identity. 3. Quantum Consciousness Quantum consciousness is a hypothesis suggesting that consciousness arises from quantum processes occurring within the brain. Proponents of this theory, such as physicist Roger Penrose and anesthesiologist Stuart Hameroff, argue that microtubules and other structures within brain cells could be sites where quantum phenomena give rise to conscious experience. This idea challenges the conventional view that consciousness is solely a product of classical neural processes, proposing instead that the brain exploits the unique properties of quantum mechanics, like superposition and entanglement, to produce subjective experiences. While quantum consciousness remains a controversial and speculative idea, it has generated significant interest and debate within the scientific community. 4. Consciousness as an emergent property The theory that consciousness arises from the complex interactions of simpler, unconscious processes within the brain posits that conscious experiences are an emergent property of the brain's activity. This means that while individual neurons and neural networks may not possess consciousness themselves, their collective interactions give rise to the phenomenon of consciousness. Emergentism suggests that consciousness is not reducible to any specific brain region or process but arises from the coordinated activity of multiple neural systems. This perspective emphasizes the importance of understanding the complex dynamics and connections between different brain areas and processes in order to unravel the mysteries of consciousness. 5. Integrated Information Theory Developed by neuroscientist Giulio Tononi, integrated information theory is a theoretical framework that suggests consciousness is a product of the integration of information within a system, such as the brain. According to IIT, the degree of consciousness in a system is determined by the amount of integrated information it possesses, represented by a mathematical value called phi. This theory proposes that consciousness emerges when information is processed and combined in a highly interconnected and organized manner. While IIT is still a developing theory, it offers a promising approach to quantifying and understanding the nature of consciousness in both biological and artificial systems. 6. Consciousness and the Nature of Time The relationship between consciousness and the nature of time is an intriguing area of exploration, as our perception of time seems to be deeply rooted in our conscious experience. Time perception has been found to be subjective, with our awareness of the passage of time being influenced by various factors such as attention, emotions, and cognitive load. This idea investigates how our conscious experience is intertwined with our perception of time, and how the brain processes and represents temporal information. Understanding the relationship between consciousness and time can provide insights into the subjective nature of our experiences, as well as the neural mechanisms underlying our perception of the past, present, and future. 7. Artificial Consciousness Artificial consciousness refers to the possibility of creating conscious machines or artificial intelligence that possess genuine subjective experience. This idea raises questions about whether machines can have feelings, thoughts, and self-awareness, similar to humans and other conscious beings. The development of artificial consciousness would require a deep understanding of the nature of consciousness, its underlying mechanisms, and the criteria that define conscious experiences. While the creation of truly conscious machines remains a distant goal, advancements in artificial intelligence, neuroscience, and computational modeling continue to push the boundaries of our understanding of consciousness and its potential manifestations in artificial systems. 8. The Hard Problem of Consciousness The hard problem of consciousness, coined by philosopher David Chalmers, refers to the challenge of explaining how and why certain physical processes in the brain give rise to subjective experiences. 
While scientists have made significant progress in understanding the neural correlates of consciousness and the brain's role in processing sensory information, the hard problem persists in explaining how these objective, physical processes produce subjective, conscious experiences. This question remains at the heart of ongoing debates in the fields of philosophy, neuroscience, and cognitive science, as researchers grapple with the seemingly unbridgeable gap between the objective and subjective aspects of consciousness. 9. The Global Workspace Theory Developed by cognitive psychologist Bernard Bars, the global workspace theory posits that consciousness arises from the global availability of information within the brain. According to GWT, diverse cognitive processes, such as perception, memory, and attention, compete for access to a central workspace within the brain. When information becomes globally available within this workspace, it can be integrated, processed, and acted upon, leading to the emergence of conscious experiences. GWT provides a framework for understanding how different aspects of cognition interact and contribute to consciousness, offering insights into the neural basis of attention, working memory, and the conscious perception of stimuli. 10. Non-Human Consciousness Non-Human Consciousness explores the possibility of conscious experiences in non-human animals, plants, or other living organisms. While humans are often considered the primary carriers of consciousness, research suggests that many animals, including mammals, birds, and even some invertebrates, may possess varying degrees of conscious awareness. Understanding non-human consciousness requires identifying the neural and cognitive mechanisms that give rise to subjective experiences in different species, as well as developing criteria for assessing consciousness across diverse organisms. The study of non-human consciousness has important implications for animal welfare, ethics, and our understanding of the evolutionary origins of consciousness. 11. The Binding Problem the binding problem refers to the question of how the brain combines separate pieces of sensory information to form a single, unified conscious experience. For example, when we perceive an object, our brain processes various aspects of the object, such as its shape, color, and location, through different neural pathways. The binding problem asks how these separate pieces of information are brought together to create a coherent perception of the object as a whole. This challenge extends beyond sensory processing, as it also encompasses the integration of different cognitive processes, such as memory and attention, into our conscious experiences. Solving the binding problem is crucial for understanding the neural mechanisms underlying consciousness and the brain's capacity to synthesize complex, multisensory information.